Right, so a brother has sent me an email that Hi Ramen, I hope things are good at your end. <clears throat> I have seen a couple of your videos and they are very helpful. Thank you brother. And I have some questions which may be you can help me with. So let's see what he has written. I have a scholarship opportunity for years fully funded masters leading to a PhD in computer science. So I just want to ask brother, are you coming in masters by research? So there is a course named masters by research uh, in Ireland. So just let me know uh, if you are coming masters by research and then uh, you will be uh, moving towards PhD from your masters by research course. Anyway, so the stipend I have been offered is 1800 euros, 1800 or 18,000 euro per year. So uh, I'm not too sure uh, what it uh, what he meant by 1800 euros. So just let me know um, if you are given a per month 1800 euros or it is 18,000 euro per uh, year. So anyway, now I have a plan for four years in Galway, Galway, Ireland. I am married with no kids. Initially, I would be coming to Ireland alone but i plan to bring my wife in three to six months after coming here that's great i have <coughs> around six years experience in the it industry and plan to stay in the industry even after my phd ends i don't have much interest in postdoc research that's fantastic i mean if you have an it experience of six years I know many people from India who has like 10 or 12 years IT experience and directly got very very high salary job in Ireland so you have a very high chance of getting an IT job in Ireland because Ireland they they have shortage of IT people from their country so they hire a lot of people from Pakistan India Bangladesh and I know a lot of people like that and the salary is really really good Okay, frankly speaking, I need to support my family back home as well. Okay, and I know you did not recommend doing part-time <coughs> alongside PhD and it's very difficult. True, true, that's true. For this to work for me, I will need extra amount and I had in my mind to support myself by working in startup tech company as a freelancer. This is absolutely, I know some students in my um, um, institute where I do postdoc at ATU Sligo. Some of the students from Pakistan, Iran and so on, India, and they are doing uh, this kind of job uh, uh, like freelancing and so on. And they are <coughs> earning some decent amount of money per month apart from their PhD scholarship. So my thought is that it is absolutely great. So if you can find something and I think you will be able to find many because I know there are such kind of things in Ireland a lot. And OK, I have been told my monthly expenses alone should be around 1000 euros. So OK, so now I understand that uh, you will be given 800 euro per month, 1800 euro per month. So and once my wife arrives i would have to pick a single apartment somewhere near galway that's absolutely true i have been told that it is also manageable in 1800 for two people now this i will check in a minute um, let's see if we can uh, 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 what is available in galway uh, for two people what are your thoughts on this i'll just uh, do a, mm, a screen recording on this is PhD work that competitive that even taking 20 hours a week is difficult? Okay, so um, at this, this is very sort of confusing or this is very um, sort of uh, particular sort of question. It depends on your supervisor and your work pressure. It is very man to man, I mean student to student, PhD student to PhD student and they are working environment, 
how is the work pressure and so on for me it was i had to go to uh, the lab uh, i mean my office uh, <clears throat> from 10 am to 5 pm from monday to friday and um, so and that's it so and when you are alone you will be cooking yourself and so on so you will not have time to do part time job other than saturday and sunday so if you can manage in saturday sunday doing some 8 hours 8 hours 16 16 hours then that's fine uh, so it's completely up to you how how much pressure you feel in your phd and so on and what about four months of working full time i assume that would be hard as well i don't understand what you mean by four months of working full time uh, so oh i see i understand during the summer vacation you will be given 40 hours a week work permit so again uh, this is completely up to you and your phd research or research pressure if you feel like that you can manage doing full-time job alongside your phd that is fantastic that is completely you and you will understand that whether you can do or not only after like uh, one or two months um, chatting with your supervisor or the in working environment or the work pressure and so on work um, plan and everything you will understand yourself it is completely it is your uh, your sort of uh, decision that whether you will work or not it's completely up to you uh, so I know few PhD students here they are working only on Saturday Sunday I myself work at the third year of my PhD when I almost finished uh, my research work and I was only writing my thesis so I was doing some part-time work and so on and uh, like four or five months uh, and then I got a full-time job uh, as a postdoc and I left that thing so the bottom line is I need to support my family back home and myself over there, usually with my wife, figure out about time take related job. Yeah, again I'm saying it's um, uh, it's up to you and what you get and so on. Uh, because if you have to, if you do not have to go lab every day, if you do not have to meet your supervisor every day, mm, then you can find out some time and to do some job but again that depends on the what kind of job they are doing and what sort of uh, working hours your employer is asking part time employer is asking to do it's kind of uh, zigzag it's kind of two way uh, 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 sort of um, uh, what do you call um, negotiation uh, between you and your time and your sort of uh, place where you want to work would be looking forward to hear for your thoughts and i still found your channel and will be watching more videos thank you so much now let's see uh in galway so i'll go to daft and so daft.ie and so galway galway county galway sorry not by rent no first share in galway there are 138 sort of available so 700 700 150 means 600 per month 700 so 550 475 800 840 uh, 700 this is 375 so you see on an average you will you will be uh, 700 for a for your for for a single room in a shared house uh, so and depends on what you get um, at all so on an average it's 700 so 700 for your um, single room with shared sharing with other people now let's see uh, any room uh, let's see rent rent in Galway Galway city in Galway city you need minimum one bedroom one bedroom so so if there is a studio luckily 
750 per month that's good if you if when you are here uh, with your family if you get this one then that's grand so at the end of the day what you when you are here what is available and how much is the price that's the only thing mm, matter now other than that you see it's 1500 per month for one bedroom one bathroom this is 1822 per month one one bed one bath this is again 1280 per month this is 1640 per month one bedroom one bathroom so this is 2125 and only six are available one bedroom so you can see on an average it is 1800 per month you see so i have bit doubt about here when your family will be here it will be very difficult uh, to manage within 1800 uh, the rent so this is the problem with dublin galway and cork if you are with your family then even one bedroom apartment is on an average 1800 euro or 2000 euro and then you add an electricity bill and everything like that so yeah you can check this duff property uh, this is the only place you can get information and so on so all the best that's what i can say